Hey everybody, it's Buzz. Today I want to talk about the Demon Slayer manga. I just finished reading it the other day, I finished my uh, handy box set here of it. And, you know, there's some things I want to talk about with this series. Right off the bat, I just want to come out and say it. Um, I love this series. I thought it was great. But, the series does have problems. I want to talk about some things with this series. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Kyoharo Gotoge. It follows teenage Tanjiro Kamado, who strives to become a demon slayer after his family was slaughtered and his younger sister Nezuko turns into a demon. It was serialized in Shueisha's Shonen Magazine, Weekly Shonen Jump, from February 2016 to May 2020, and with its chapters collected into 23 Tenkoban volumes. It was published in English by Viz Media. I noticed a lot of discussion with Demon Slayer recently. I noticed an influx of a lot of people going into Demon Slayer and saying, you know, it's so popular, I expected it to be better, I'm kind of disappointed. Or people starting the series and saying, that was a really boring first few episodes of the anime, and I dropped the series, I didn't like it. A lot of people saying those sorts of things about Demon Slayer. And honestly, I do kind of see where they're coming from. Because Demon Slayer has an extremely slow start. Uh, the first few volumes of this manga are noticeably worse uh, than the rest of the series. I'm talking like writing, art, um, just the way the characters act, it, like just the characterization in general. It's very, um, I don't want to say amateurish, that sounds kind of rude, but that's kind of the best way I can describe it. The start of this series kind of does it a disservice because a lot of people start it, hear all the hype about how good it, how good it is, read the beginning, and then they don't like it. And that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, this is definitely a series which gets substantially better throughout its run. Let me tell you this. If Demon Slayer had a better first five volumes, this series would be a 10 out of 10 for me. I, I love Demon Slayer. And there are a lot of 10 out of 10 parts, and a lot of the later arcs are amazing. I would say Entertainment District and later is 10 out of 10. And to a lesser extent, I would say Mugen Train is extremely good as an arc, like maybe a 9 out of 10 just for that. But the fact that this series has such a slow start and doesn't really get good until later um, is definitely going to be a turnoff for a lot of fans, um, especially people that got into Demon Slayer because of the hype. A lot of people only really heard of this series, you know, because of its popularity. At first, I was kind of iffy on this series. At first, um, I thought it was alright, you know, I thought it was pretty average Shonen Jump manga, nothing crazy going on, nothing that, like, stood out too much, but after the first few arcs, I'm gonna go into the Mugen Train arc, the series gets substantially better, and then I would say it gets substantially better again after that, going into Entertainment District, and the series rides a high of being extremely high quality throughout the rest of its run. Some people didn't like the ending, I actually liked the ending, I thought it was great, so, your mileage may vary, I guess. I guess going into some more traditional review points. This series, to me, is a lot like Jujutsu Kaisen, where it's like, the story is basic, the lore is kinda generic, but it's done so well, it's awesome. And I definitely feel like Demon Slayer is in a very similar vein to that. The series may not be the most original, but what it does, it does extremely well, in my opinion. A lot of the characters in this, uh, some people found to be very grating with how, like, extreme their personalities are. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, like, oh, characters have just one mood, and that's their entire character design. Uh, that's only really true for, like, the first arc of a character being introduced. Characters grow a lot in this series, and honestly, even then, at the very beginning of the series, I like a lot of the characters that are in this series. Uh, my favorite character is Inosuke. Best boy, or best boar, I guess I could say. <laughs> so the main characters, uh, Zenetsu, Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Nezuko, I like them. They're, they're a very balanced group. Uh, none of the characters are really, like, the same or anything. Um, with the other set of main characters, the Hash Hashiras, you know, there's, again, there's a lot of really extreme, uh, character types, you know, a lot of, a lot of really in-your-face characters, and you know what? I like it. I like a lot of the characters in this series, which is apparently controversial, but I, I just, I just like them. They're, they're fun to read. The villain in this series is a little strange. He feels a little, um, shoehorned in, uh, 
Muzin, the big bad, I, I kind of feel like uh, his story arc like wasn't really planned out very much until like the end of the series. But honestly, like it kind of worked out. The fact that we didn't get to see too much of him and we really only saw his minions throughout the series, I think worked just fine. Um, I liked a lot of the 12 Kizuki. Um, a lot, most of the upper and lower rank demons were pretty cool and pretty interesting. Pretty much every character in the series has like a detailed backstory flashback. Uh, and again, it's another one of those things where people think, oh, you know, it, it ruins the pacing. For me, I didn't think so because I actually enjoyed a lot of the backstories. Like, to me, they were just interesting stories and I liked reading them. Uh, so, again, if you don't like flashbacks in anime, then you might get a little turned off by the amount of flashbacks. Because pretty much every single character that gets introduced has their very own, like, flashback to their childhood. And while the writing is good for a lot of those, it does tend to get a little repetitive with just a lot of the characters having the exact same, like reasons for fighting you know someone you know someone was killed by a demon which made them seek revenge and then they either turned into a demon or a demon slayer and it was and everybody's kind of the same in that regard and so while it was enjoyable most of the time you know i do see why some people would say this it's a very um repetitive series the only real major issue i have with this series besides the fact that i think it's hard for new people to get into it when they have really high expectations would be the length of the series. It's only 23 volumes. This series has a lot of world building, a lot of like training arcs and training scenes. And so I definitely feel like this series could have been a lot longer. With only 23 volumes, I definitely feel like there could have been more arcs. You know, there could have been more short arcs like Mugen Train and there could have been more longer arcs, you know, like Entertainment District. And I kind of feel like this series had more potential than it had. Not that what was here was bad or anything. In fact, I loved pretty much every volume of this season, of this series. The only real issue I have is that I kind of feel like there could have been more. You know, if this series, if this manga was 40 volumes, I definitely feel like it could have been something, like, spectacular. Um, and I feel like the series was ended too soon. I feel like 23 volumes was too short for what was set up. Even just one more arc would have made this series a lot better, I think. I, it's just it's just too short they, they they set up so much but it comes to a close so quickly uh, another thing this series does pretty well is like empathy and forgiveness with like say demons uh, dying and as they're dying like regretting their actions and stuff like that and people actually forgiving them this series does that in a very well mannered way like most of the time those sorts of scenes don't feel shoehorned it feels like characters like being nice in a genuine way instead of like ah 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 my series made you cry i saw that tear success it, it doesn't feel forced it feels very natural uh, in the way that like tanjiro and the others handle um you know letting go you know even if demons are dying but they did horrible things you know they still like respect them i like the way that that stuff was handled Another thing that's kind of strange is at the beginning of the series, after Tanjiro's family dies, which is like the very, you know, beginning, that's like the the intro, is Nesuko and Tanjiro's family getting killed by demons. It felt very emotionless because Tanjiro, like, doesn't mourn his family at all in, like, the first volume. Like, they just kind of die, and he's like, oof, that's the that's way it goes, I guess, eh? And then he, like, starts fighting and stuff, like, in the first volume. And it feels very strange, it feels very bizarre to see him, like, not really have emotions at first but then all of a sudden like later on in the series become like a really emotional character if that felt a little jarring um i know in the anime they added some extra scenes to like kind of make it not different <laughs> i guess um but yeah i mean besides the series like ha having kind of a slow start and getting you know kind of weaker at the beginning i love the series going into a final rating i think this series is a pretty easy 9 out of 10 for me. I absolutely loved it. I had a, I had a really fun time reading this. I read like 3 volumes a day. Uh, which is no normally I read like 1 volume a day. And I was just blazing through this. I was trying to read 4 volumes a day for a couple days there. Uh, and you know I just got really into it. You know I usually get really bored with manga. If they're not like, really engaging to me. 
And, you know, the fact that I was able to read four volumes in over a couple of the days I was reading this, um, you know, I think that really speaks to how invested I was and how much I actually enjoyed it. I loved this series. Um, I'm pretty sure on mail I gave it a perfect 10. That was mostly just because, um, because of how emotionally invested I am with Demon Slayer. In a very, like, subjective manner, I love this series, and I think it's fantastic, in, but in a very, like, objective manner you know i have to recognize its flaws and dock a point for that but like i genuinely love this series and um i definitely hope um Gotoge makes more manga in the future i think i think they have um you know a lot of talent especially near the end of this series once their art started to get a bit more like professional style i think they can you know make another classic after this one they say hope so <laughs> i forgot to get into it when i was filming this video uh, but this is a battle manga. This series has a lot of really awesome fight scenes, um, a lot of sword battles. The martial arts in this manga with uh, the different breathing stances and things are actually pretty fun, pretty interesting, and the uh, art uh, really accentuates the battles as well. If you like battle manga with lots of martial arts and uh, and swordplay, uh, you're gonna like this manga a lot. It's, it's very similar to Bleach, I would say, in terms of how the fighting works. If you're into that sort of battle manga, uh, then you're definitely gonna like this. Anyways, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, you could subscribe, and like the video so the al algorithm likes me, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Thanks. See ya.